Hey happy homemakers and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a cleaning marathon. I haven't done one of these in months. Really haven't done one since we moved to Texas. So I hope that you guys will enjoy it. If you're not familiar with what it is, it's just where I compile a bunch of my old cleaning videos into one really long cleaning video. You can put it up on your TV and just clean along with me for hours. This was actually started by Amanda over at This Crazy Life YouTube channel and it's just something so you can have tons and tons of motivation. This is gonna be coming out on 4th of July so happy Independence Day I wanted to keep my upload schedule the same but sometimes people don't catch it you know the day that it's a holiday but you should have a ton of cleaning to do after the 4th of July for anything like me if you have anybody over we actually went out of town for the 4th of July but typically if I had a lot of people over the next day I'd be cleaning like crazy <laughs> for the next few days after so I just wanted to put this on here for you guys I had another video planned but I decided to bump it to the next week and have this one so that you guys can have all the motivation this week in case you have a lot to do so you'll see some videos from our old house in Michigan which should be a fun throwback for some of you or if you're new here it might be something you've never seen um, if you haven't seen our old house so I hope you enjoy it and let's get to cleaning I wanna do it all with you by my side If you're in, meet me here tonight Be brave and come along, I'll be alright Promise we don't need no break lights We can travel the world, so just say yes Choose to do whatever comes next Drinking red wine by an open fire Make love or fight This or that This or that Evening's on the train I'll catch a morning fly Enjoying dinner until midnight On bed by night This or This or This or
welcome back to my channel. The first thing you probably notice is that this is not my house. <laughs> um, this week we actually had to unexpectedly go out of town for a family funeral and we decided to stay with my sister. She actually just moved into this new house and so as you guys see there's like you know pictures and stuff that on the floor that she needs to hang up and all of that so she hasn't gotten all her decorating done and everything but we were staying with her while we were here for the funeral and this was the day before we had to go home and we kind of had her house a little bit of a mess and my dad was going to come over this afternoon to see her house for the first time and so i just wanted to get everything neatly put back together how it was when we arrived you know the kids had toys everywhere and it was just lived in you know so i was taking care of some dishes uh, from our dinner the night before so i also like wanted to sweep and mop the floors because we just had stuff we had been tracking in over the last few days of us being there and so i wanted to get all her floors nice and clean for her and i tried out the crosswave premiere for the very first time so i'll be sharing with you guys in this video what i thought about that as well i I've actually wanted to try this for a while now and I've actually never tried one before. So I'll let you guys know later in this video how I liked that. And on this day, I was kind of just relaxing, cleaning. So I said this is some relaxing music. So I hope you guys enjoy this relax and clean with me and let's get to the music. enjoy the uh, little bit of a different angles here you guys may not even notice but I just noticed because I do this all the time but I did not bring my tripod with me because I was not planning on filming a video while I was here and since I needed to clean up I just decided to do it last minute so I had my cell phone propped up on all kind of random like objects at one point I had it on top of the counter on her nightstand 
with a bottle of olive oil holding it up. It was funny, I wish I could have filmed it beside, behind the scenes for you guys, but I didn't have a camera with me, I just had my cell phone. So some of these angles are different, but I think it came out pretty good. I um, also wanted to talk to you guys about something that's been on my heart lately. And basically I realized when I was trying to plan something for my anniversary next year, which is not until um, May, 12th, May 12th, 2022. And, uh, I had this really sad feeling when I was trying to plan something for the future where I just did not want to plan for the future as much as I've been looking forward to different things coming up. The world is so crazy right now, you guys, that I found it's hard for me to look to the future and I've always been a very future focused person, so much so that I have to force myself to live in the moment so that I don't miss the days, especially with young kids. I'm always looking so much to the future that I have to stop and make myself live in the moment sometimes. I was like, what is the deal? This, this way I was feeling. And so I felt the Lord drop a scripture in my heart and I thought that maybe some of you guys were going through the same thing. So I wanted to share. Now, this verse is Jeremiah 29, 11, And this is a verse that I've never really personally resonated with until now because I felt like it's overused. People use it all the time for graduates and all of that stuff. But for some reason, it really spoke to me. And... The verse is, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. And even now I'm, I'm tearing up as I read this out loud to you guys because it spoke to my heart so much that God is not surprised by everything that's going on in the world right now. He knows and he has a plan for you through it. And I just wanted to encourage you that today, if you're struggling a little bit, I know a lot of us have really had a hard time, especially being moms, you worry about your children, about what's coming in the future. And so I just wanted to encourage you that God is not surprised. If you're really struggling right now, emotionally or mentally, or even physically or financially, whatever it is that you can take it to the Lord and he will give you his peace that passeth all understanding. So I just wanted to encourage you in that today. And I hope that it resonates with someone else out there like it did for me. All right, I am using the Crossway Premiere for the first time. It sweeps and mops at the same time and it vacuums, so I'm not really sure. It has hardwood floor and rug area, so I'm just going to push the hardwood floor button and see what happens. Um, I have some solution in here, so let's see.
always do Like you always do Hold my hand and look me in the eyes So I can tell you how I feel Tell you how I feel Spinning round, round, around. Oh, I want you now, now, now. My world is spinning round, round, round. And I want you now, and I want you now, and I want you now. So after using the Bissell Crosswave Premiere, my verdict about this is I really like it if you have a lot of hardwoods or like ceramic tiles like she has here throughout your home. Now for me personally, I don't think it would be worth it for me because I only have a couple of areas in my home that are hardwood and tile. Um, and I'm not sure how they'd work if you have like deep grooves like I do in some of my tile floors. But if you have floors like she does here, these are ceramic tile planks. Excellent. I would definitely buy it. And I definitely think it's more for like a daily clean. The vacuum, you know, works really well. But the uh, mopping part, it's kind of a little bit streaky. It does dry. But if you have a deep clean, I don't think it necessarily would be the best option for you for deep clean. I would use something else like the um, O Cedar spin mop that I use for my deep cleans. I'd probably still use that for deep cleans, but if you're doing this daily, it's gonna help keep down the dust if you have any animals. But I usually find that um, most of the Bissell items seem to be good for dog hair from what I've heard. I don't have any pets, um, but I think this one is engineered for pets in the home as well. So I feel like it would work really well for a daily cleaning if you have pets. Again, she doesn't have pets and I don't have pets to test out that theory, but I definitely would get this if I had floors like she does. And I think it is amazing for a daily clean just to feel like you can freshen up your house and keep down the dust. And the vacuuming feature works amazing on um, the hardwoods or ceramic tiles. It's been so cold without you. I've realized I only want you I hope it's not too late I want you back here with me We never should have said It's better this way I'd rather be with you
All right, you guys, I had to show you her closet as well. Is this not to die for? I was drooling over the closet in the bathtub especially, but of course I also love the open floor plan. That's my dream to have one, that again one day. I had that in my first home that I ever owned. But this closet, oh my goodness, you guys, I was drooling over the closet. She and I had um, gone through all of her shoes before the funeral because I didn't have any good shoes to bring with me to wear for the funeral. So we kind of made a little bit of a mess in here. So I just wanted to tidy that up since it was kind of my mess as well. And then move on to kind of finishing up the last little bit of dishes. And then that will be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed, I'd love to have you subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this video, what type of videos you like to see from me in the future if you have any specific requests that fit into like the cleaning niche i would love to do those for you and let's get on with the last little bit and i'll catch y'all in the next one bye channel today's video is going to be an extreme declutter of my toddler's toys and their clothes as well on this day I actually started by going through my toy bin if you've been around my channel for any length of time you know that this is where we keep all of their toys we don't quite have them organized any special way right now it's just a way of keeping the toys off the floor that they can easily go in and help me to clean up their room really quickly my kids have a ton of these knickknacky toys and they probably only play with about 10% of them and another 90% just get dumped out of the buckets, strung all over the floor, and then they walk away and leave them there. Both of my kids have a probably about five toys or less that they actually play with consistently on a regular basis. So I got rid of a lot in this video, but I still kept a lot of things that they really don't play with. Like if I had only kept the things that they play with on a daily basis or even a weekly basis, I probably would have gotten rid of about 90% of their stuff. As it is, I got rid of maybe about a fourth if I had to guess. I got rid of quite a bit of like redundant things like throughout all of their little knickknacky like McDonald toys type toys but I kept certain ones that I know that they do play with that we purchased a lot of times I get those at um, 
like the Dollar Tree, the little like figurines and stuff. They have all the name brand ones at Dollar Tree and whatever they're into at the moment I get. They used to be into dinosaurs, but for about the last year, they haven't been into dinosaurs nearly as much. So we probably had 50 or 60, maybe a hundred little knacky dinosaurs. And I got rid of um, about... Uh, I want to say probably two thirds of them. So I did keep some of the dinosaurs, even though they don't really play with them, just in case they have a wild hair one day and want to play with their dinosaurs. I did not want to get rid of all of their dinosaurs. So I did keep a lot of stuff, but I got rid of a lot as well. You guys will see in the end. And I like to do this every year before Christmas. So I'm so glad that I did this. It feels so much better going into the holiday season. We travel home every year to Louisiana from Michigan. And our family always sends us loaded home with gifts for the girls after. And I know the years that I have done this, I feel so much better versus the years that I didn't do this. And I came home. I mean, obviously, I've only been a mom for four years, but I've already experienced coming home and being so overwhelmed with toys and then having so many more to add to it. So this definitely makes me feel better. Go ahead and do your toy declutter at the end of the year if you don't, rather than waiting to the beginning of the year. I know the beginning of the year is a common time to go through and declutter and organize our house, but I love, love, love doing this before Christmas. But stay tuned in the new year because I have a lot of more decluttering, purging, all the good cleaning motivation, organization motivation coming your way because I plan on going through and doing this in every room of my house just to have a fresh start for the new year. I'm planning on starting the fly lady system in 2022. So stay tuned for those videos that will be coming as well. So I'm super excited to just get my decluttering and purging out of the way at the end of this year into the beginning of next year and get started with um, the fly lady system for 2022. I think I've implemented small little things here and there from her system that I didn't even know were from her system. I've heard about it for years, but her system has kind of just come up again recently and I want to give it a try for 2022. So stay tuned for the rest of this extreme declutter, purging organization, whatever you want to call it as I go through and do this in my entire house. And then that will bleed right into my fly lady uh, routine starting being a new fly baby that's what she calls all of her newbies to her plan so I am currently as of right now still researching to make sure that I understand her system and a lot of it like I said I, I realized I was already kind of implementing in pieces I had heard it other places but I think it really originally came from her and here's cute little Kinsey giving me some bubbles <laughs> anyway so yeah stay tuned for that in the new year Your kids are like, Mom, why are you getting rid of this item that I haven't played with in a year? And you're like, you're going to get more stuff at Christmas time. Would you like to make room for new stuff? Usually that helps if you have that conversation. My kids are so young. They don't really question it too much. Sometimes they do, but I've also done a toy rotation bin where they know if I put stuff in a bag, it's not always leaving the house. So my four-year-old used to get quite concerned, but then she would see that I just put it on top of her closet. So this time I was actually making a, <laughs> a pile for Goodwill, but she didn't even realize it because she just thought I was probably putting it into the toy rotation because what I'll do is to get over some of the mom guilt of getting rid of toys even though I know in my head this is the best for them they play better with less things in my heart sometimes I still feel bad getting rid of their toys and so I will put it up on top of the shelf I've talked about this in past videos but I'll put it up on the shelf for a while and if they don't play with it or ask for it like in three to six months then it goes to goodwill I don't even reopen the bag if we haven't opened it to look for something and never once have I opened a bag to look for something. Now, they have seen toys up there um, in the toy rotation, and we pulled them down, and they started playing with them again. But usually, even then, they just dump them on the floor. They don't even play with them. So anyway, long story short, um, this day I was actually making a pile directly for Goodwill, and they didn't even question it because they've seen these toys go in and out of toy rotation so many times. And honestly, we pulled them down. They dump them all over the floor. Don't even play with them. 
I've kind of pretty much just gotten rid of Toy Rotation. Only use Toy Rotation when I have guilt about getting rid of something because they haven't played with it at all, which really should be a reason to just go ahead and throw it out. But being a mom, it's like they haven't even played with that. And we spent, you know, how much of our money on it. But anyway, this day I just was being ruthless because I was just knowing that my kids were going to go home in a couple of weeks and have so many gifts when we go home at Christmas that I was going to be glad I did this. And I felt so good. You guys just wait till the end to see how many toys I decluttered and how much I got rid of. It was literally garbage bags full and I got rid of clothes as well. So we will continue on with that. And you guys will see that in a little bit. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine. Ain't got time to do everything you said you would Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by Pictures of sunny days with your smile and the power How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them on to Lexus closet I knew that both of my girls have a lot of clothes in their closets that are either out of season or they've outgrown and I just have not done my like quarterly going through of their clothes and it had probably been I don't know maybe six to nine months this time I was gonna say a year but I know it hasn't been that long so since I had gone through and just pulled anything out of her closet that didn't fit her anymore that was being passed down to Kenzie and so I also knew that I had a lot of summer clothes in here and this little green bucket right here it was all summer clothes what I was was doing was as I was coming across summer clothes I was tossing them in there and getting them ready to go into another bucket to be you know put away or whatever and I just never got around to the next step of actually storing them down in the basement so I was just going through and dumping all of that then I went through all of her hanging up clothes to see what was in there that was definitely summer clothes or what was 3t because she's in 4t and moving into 5t now and so basically things that were needing to be passed down to Kinsey seeing what summer clothes Lexa will be fitting in this year this next year so kind of just going through all of that and I decided to put the 3t clothes that will fit Kenzie for next summer and then any clothes that Lexa had that will still fit her next summer because um, she is not growing super super fast as far as growing out of clothes because she's a real slim she has a slender build but she just gets too tall for things so her pants probably won't fit her but all of her shorts will probably fit her still next summer because the waist on most of them was loose so I knew which clothes were like how they fit her and everything so I was just going through and tossing anything that was summer related into a bin for this next summer because she will probably still fit in it and and also taking all the three T's out for Kenzie so that she could pass those down because she will be fitting into those next summer. Now I know that it's okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. Get to know you better. 
So this is what her closet was looking at like at this point. We had a bunch of hangers here, but those will quickly be filled up with a clean laundry that's sitting on the couch waiting for me to hang up. <laughs> but I went ahead and moved on to her little chest of drawer situation because the two bottom drawers were actually both filled with summer clothes as well. And we've been trying to cram all of her pajamas in the top drawer and she needed more space for her pajamas. So I went ahead and started looking at this and then I realized, oh wait, this is all summer stuff as well. So I just threw it all out and then I was able to um, make more room for those pajamas in two drawers instead of cr cramming them all in one and that worked really well. Then I just had this pile of stuff for Goodwill, things that neither one of my girls fit in anymore and just a couple of little decorations that had gotten thrown in her closet and a couple of toys as well. So this just became another pile for Goodwill. Also off camera, I cleaned off the top of these um, shelves here. And so these are all empty buckets that just either need to be used or gotten rid of and then this is just some junk that had migrated down by this point it was getting pretty dark so you see the lighting change in Kenzie's room but I wanted to go ahead while I was on a roll and get her room cleaned out as well so I just went ahead and went through all of her clothes I knew that none of her clothes are going to be getting passed down but I did have a couple of sentimental items that I wanted to save I do have a bucket for both of my girls where I am keeping like little sentimental things like dresses they wore for a certain special occasion or something like that that I want to keep so I pulled a couple of items out everything else that she has grown out of was just going straight to Goodwill before I'm too invested I should probably ask you ask you camera I actually got rid of a bunch of toys that I was storing up in this closet but I didn't get rid of um, all this other stuff you guys see here some of it is sentimental items like um, a quilt that was made for her by um, her great aunt so we're gonna be pulling that stuff out and using it on her bed probably as she gets older but then some of it does need to go to Goodwill so I'm gonna have to go back in there later on and go through that I was just kind of running out of light and time on this day and I wanted to move on to the clothes and her little plastic truster drawer situation <laughs> that she has going on as well so you guys can see here I have a couple of piles I had a pile for um, Goodwill I had something that needed to go back in the closet and the piles on the floor were for like the dress up clothes and stuff like that here is some more toys there's that bag right there that I just pointed at is the one that I got rid of from the top of her closet that I didn't show when it was off camera but yeah I ended up getting rid of quite a bit of stuff as you guys see here a lot of stuff so I ended up coming back the next day and wanting to try to make my own vacuum seal bags. Now I had gotten some of these bags from Dollar Tree in the past and I lost them. I'm sure I'll find them during this declutter because this decluttering is going to be in a whole series. I'm going to be working um, on decluttering next month as well. So um, this is the next day. You guys can see I have daylight again, but I wanted to try out these bags. I ran to the Dollar Tree and got some of their double XL bags just to try it out. This is the only size my Dollar Tree had at the time. So I'm showing you guys how big they are. And honestly, I would probably call this a large or maybe, I don't know, I think I'd call it a large, maybe extra large, but probably a large bag. I wouldn't call this a double XL bag. One step forward and another back. I would never try to fool you. I'm one heartbeat away from going mad. Girl, when you look like that. I'ma get closer to you, yeah Got me, baby, got me hooked on you once again Girl, Alright, so this definitely won't close up just like this But um, if I suck some air out um, We're gonna see how it does See how some spots down here 
All right, so I'm gonna suck the air out. I'm gonna see if we can seal this up. If not, I'll put it in two separate ones. Now to me, this is a pretty big bag, but I would call this large, not double XL, right? I don't know, I guess it depends on what you're uh, comparing it to. Let's go ahead and see if I can turn this into a vacuum seal bag. Yeah, I have to close the bag a little bit to be able to vacuum seal. So I might just go ahead and put this in two bags. All right, so it closes completely like that. You guys can see how fat that is. Um, that is how many clothes I took out. Probably like a third, well, maybe a fourth or less of them. All right, let's see if I can open a little side part on here, on the side, and then stick my vacuum in there and see if this works. Okay. <laughs> All right, so it definitely made it smaller, but it's still super fat. Like maybe I should lay the clothes down flat. So, shit guys, it's smaller, like I could put two of these in a box, you know, but it's not quite what I was going for. So I'm gonna try laying the clothes down flat in it and see if that makes a difference. If you guys have any experience in this, let me know because um, obviously this is my first time trying this. I did get four of these from the Dollar Tree, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out another one and give it a try. I'm gonna try laying all the clothes flat like this and then sliding them in the bag and see if that works for me. Now, if we could somehow make a little hole that we could then close, that would probably work, but um, I don't want to risk when we were in the bags for that, because I think I spent enough time on this. So this was a fail, but <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that you got a little bit of cleaning, organization, and decluttering motivation for your beginning of the year or end of the year decluttering, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be cleaning out my car, or if you wanna be technical, I have an SUV. This is a huge disaster for me. I know this may not be bad for a lot of people, but my husband is a clean freak when it comes to our cars especially, and so he has always been really good at keeping them nice and clean for me, and so I'm really blessed that I don't really even have to bother with it. I try to remember to take my girl's toys out, but I'm not even always the best at that. And usually my car looks like it came off the showroom, even with two toddlers, just because my husband is always really good 
at that. But because we have been doing all of our remodel and having a really busy summer, it got a little bit of a disaster in here. So my husband typically uses a big heavy shot vac to clean the car and that works amazing. They have really strong suction, but they are really heavy to lug around. And personally, I just get a little frustrated with those things and it's just a hassle to me to have to pull that out and use it. So I've actually always wanted to get a little small handheld vacuum cleaner for the car so I can clean up quick and easy. So when AirC reached out to me, I was super excited to give this a try. So in your package, you get the actual vacuum cleaner itself, a charging adapter, three multifunction tools, and this uh, type C charging cable. And so basically you just charge it up and then you can use it cordless. The light will be red and then whenever it turns green, it's ready to use. Now it does also come with an extra air filter that I showed you guys here as well. I wanted to try this out, see how powerful it was, and then also see how long the battery lasted for. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated as we go along in today's video. Your intentions are good. I walk back to my history, into my own neighborhood. Lying for you, lying for you. But the first thing I did was get a laundry basket and start taking all of the kids toys and junk and trash out of the car. You guys see me do this all the time in my house and my car is no exception. Back, back, don't wanna go back. If you are not with me, hey, do you read me? Go back, back to where we came from. If my hands are empty, hey, do you read me? Go back. I don't want to go alone. Go back. If you are not with me, I don't want to go back. By the time I was finished pulling everything out, I had a almost completely full laundry basket full of Bibles and books and trash and everything else that needs to go out. It does seem like it has two settings. And this one seems a lot higher power if you pull it back. So as you guys may be able to hear in these clips, the high setting had quite a bit more power than the low setting and I found that I needed this on the high setting in order to have it suck up everything in my car. So the vacuum was having a hard time sucking inside of all of these little like crevices. So I pulled out this little adapter piece with a brush on it and that worked amazing to get into all the cracks. I could even actually go vertically or horizontally on them and it was removing all of the junk and dirt that was all up in these little cracks and crevices. Connect with you through your eyes. I'm not sure what this little white spot in the back of my trunk was, but it was dried up, whatever it was, so I did have to hit it with spray and then it wiped right up. Luckily my rubber mat held almost all of the dirt, but right around the edges there was some dirt and stuff that had got underneath. And so what I would do is I would just pop the little brush head off and use just a little suction tool to get down in there. And then I would put the little brush head back on because that worked better inside the grooves of the rubber mats. I still want all of you and I know why you colors. And I guess because of that I can think of no others Yeah, I need you to breathe without you, I'm lost I'm lost, yeah What is on your mind? So most of the large chunks and pieces of dirt were able to be vacuumed right up But I did have a couple of things that were not coming up when I was vacuuming So this little spot here, I think it may have been some type of food or something I don't know, you guys can see it kind of looked wet and sticky So... I uh, also had these other spots here. This was sidewalk chalk that my girls, we went to the park and they got it all of their shoes and then put it all over here in the car, the back of the seat. So that would not come up with vacuuming. I knew I needed the spray. So I just vacuumed up any loose dirt and grime on the seats and in their cup holders and all of that. And then I was gonna come back with my simple green later, which as you guys will see, wiped all of this right up. But that chalk dust can be so hard to get out. And I had a simple green spray to the rescue. Just me. 
just me I'm feeling something that goes beyond us Can we work it out? Only time will tell It's gonna take a lot Cause we've been through hell I can't be without you I've tried and I failed So can we work it out? Yeah. Only time will tell Ooh, Only time will tell Ooh. Part of my car that I wanted to wipe out was a driver for the front seat in the driver area but as you guys can see here my vacuum all of a sudden seemed like it was losing a little bit of power and I looked and I had so much stuff look at all this stuff that's caked up in here so I went ahead and dumped out the vacuum and then the suction came back to full power and I started cleaning up in here and actually in this last little part is when the vacuum ended up actually dying on me so based on going back and looking at my footage I would say the battery lasted on full high speed for about 15 to 20 minutes which I think is pretty good for most quick jobs like just cleaning out your car if you have a deeper job you may have to do it in two sessions with this battery but just to kind of give you guys an idea on full power it lasted 15 to 20 minutes so if you guys are able to do your job on the lower setting then maybe it will last a little bit longer if it had lasted about five more minutes would have been perfect for me um, but overall I will say that this is a very affordable vacuum and that means that I am pretty satisfied with it as well I know that my review of things and how long they should last also has to do with how much you pay for for it so for the price I think that this lasting 15 to 20 minutes on a charge is pretty good I'll definitely link it down below if anyone is interested in just a really lightweight vacuum to just do little quick jobs and so I went ahead and put it on the charge and started wiping everything down with my simple green spray my husband has always used this for the car he used to detail cars in college so that's kind of why we use the simple green I just spray it on the rag and then wipe it all over the surfaces I sprayed it directly on my seat here because I had like this white spot that wouldn't come up and I'm not really sure what that was but typically I will spray it on the rag and then just wipe it and that works better I had to so was trying to give you guys an overview of my car but I could not get it without a sun glare my husband told me to pull the car out in the driveway and that probably would have worked better but for some reason I just did not want to pull it out in the car it was cooler in the garage and I did also didn't want all the neighbors staring at me which I'm sure they don't care what I'm doing but anyway so I'm just finishing up wiping up all of the chalks here and all of that stuff I had told you guys about earlier and and then that will be all I do on this day. I definitely could have done more to the car, but this was kind of just a quick tidy. I really didn't feel like doing it on this day, but I knew I needed to because I hadn't been neglecting it for so long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, got some motivation to get something done in your house today or in your car or wherever it may be, some task you've been putting off. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye. <laughs>
As he sang, she started to dance. I'm using the Love Meg spray that I've diluted to half strength so that I can use the same cleaner on the mirrors and the rest of the dresser. You guys will also see my little munchkins help me quite a bit on this day and it was actually pretty nice. I've told you guys in past videos that sometimes when they help me, they actually derail me. But on this day, they were begging for me to play and I said, you know what? Let's go ahead and clean together because the day before I had literally spent the entire day with them, which is part of the reason my house was in such disarray. We had their well doctor checks and then we had hung out together the rest of the day when we came home and I completely neglected my house. So on this day, I kind of tried to make a game of them helping me around the house. And as you guys can see, they actually ended up being a little bit helpful on this day. And it was a really fun day. I felt like I, they were learning a lot. So all that's left is you and me. I can promise you're the only thing. All right, I'm not feeling it today, so I'm gonna give me some motivation going. I'm more in the mood to watch a movie. I'm curious if you guys watch Good Girls on Hulu. Build a secret place for you and me. Let our minds be caught up in a dream. Sometimes I wonder why some of these companies have like whole seasons. And then for some shows, they only have like a few episodes. I don't know. I know, I guess it must be currently airing. Usually that's the case. But with Hulu, a lot of times you'll get the whole season or as it comes out. Another one I'm loving, you guys, if you don't watch Handmaid's Tale, now that's something you can't watch around your kid, but that's like my guilty pleasure to watch um, whenever the girls are napping. If I'm gonna sit down and watch something. I'm not looking at So good, if you have not seen Handmaid's Tale, so good. New episodes come out every Wednesday, and I seriously look forward to it every single week. Thanks, good job. I didn't put this in There's no one left. Can I help tomorrow? Yeah. Go go up here, come up here, go through this pile and pull out. Put mommy's in one stack and daddy's in another stack. And this is daddy? Yeah. Close your eyes and let us fade away. Build a secret place for you and me. There's no one left but you and me. It's like a made up place that only we can see. Stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? <laughs> I wonder. Sky sometimes hides behind the clouds. Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder.
dark from so far away and show us where we are it really makes me wonder bathroom organization or lack thereof is something that is coming so stay tuned for that because I don't have a ton of space in here but I have plenty of space for the amount of stuff we have so I just need to make it more functional for our family um, that is locked so I don't like to put a lot of things under here because it's just harder to get it to since we have to lock it because of our teeny, um, our babies. So that's where we keep like, oh my goodness, my husband has cleaner stash back here that I didn't even know about. So basically that's what we keep down here for now. It's just extra supplies because um, we don't want our toddlers to be able to reach this stuff. And it's not something we're going to be getting every day. Extra cotton balls and toilet paper and all that stuff. But I did not know we have all those method bathroom cleaner stashed down here. I really probably should move that to the other bathroom because I didn't know that wasn't here at all. But yeah, you guys will see that when I do my small bathroom organizational video. The other piece of storage we have in here is this little cabinet. I would love to just not have anything on my counter other than the cotton rounds and hand soap and toothbrushes and contact stuff, but I have any products like up in here. So I just need to kind of go through and see like, that alcohol and um, stuff like that shouldn't be in here because I used it to clean a razor, but I don't use it every day. So that should probably go in the other bathroom. And that way this is just for daily use stuff, but stay tuned for that. That will be an upcoming video. I've been wanting to do this for a long time now because it's just not functional in here. Now I will say, like I told you guys, I'm using this at half strength, the Love Mix spray. I will say it is nice to have one product um, in here and just have two different rags. So, I don't know, it's kind of growing on me just having one product to move around with everything. Um, I think if you're just doing everyday dusting and stuff, it's really nice. These vanity in here gets so gross, <laughs> like seriously. But yeah, it's nice to just have one product and just switch my rags out. They were in high school when they met, and things got kind of awkward. With sparks in the air. He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh They would be together ooh And one day she said Write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled. So I can say I am not a fan of any of the seventh generation products because we do not like the way that they smell and pretty much everyone we've gotten is the lemongrass citrus scent and it just hate, smells very like earthy and like grass really. <laughs> My husband hates it. I was okay with it at first, but the more I use it, the less I like it. He accidentally bought this again, so I'm just trying to use through it. But I saturated the entire toilet, let it sit for 10 minutes so it can soak. Wiping up the corners to get up like these areas where there's like hair everywhere. And this floor has not been swept in about four days and this is how bad it gets from all of my hair. So I just recently started going around with either a rag or a piece of toilet paper and cleaning the, the hair out of the corners of all the room and that helps a lot because usually with sweeping and mopping, it still gets stuck in the corners for some reason. So that's the new thing I've been doing in the bathroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and sweep and mop in here now. As he sang, she started to dance, grabbed his arm and took his hand. He held her close under the moonlight as they kept on dancing. Mm -mm -mm. And now they're singing their love. 
love song And they sing it kind of beautiful Calling each other sweetheart I promise nobody can get in their way Or steal the show They're in love now And I wanted you to know again because I see more hair that got loosened up so I'd love to know if you guys have any tips and tricks for um, cleaning up hair so I'm not having to sweep in my, my bathroom like three four times I dread it so much when I do it maybe I should just keep a little broom in here and, and tidy up every day that might be a solution but I'd love to know if you have an actual solution as far as being able to get up hair easily that would be so helpful to me I'm just gonna wipe off the scale real quick, put a new trash bag in there, and then the bathroom is complete. Y'all, I was totally saying I was done with this bathroom and I hadn't wiped off the toilet. I think I did that last couple of times I cleaned my bathroom. So the stuff is probably dried on it by now, so I'm just gonna wet my rag and then wipe it down. And then I'll actually be done for real. Maybe there is a star with your name. your favorite chore and what is the chore that you dread the most for me I used to actually hate doing laundry but I realized that look if keeping up with my laundry solved that problem for me so now I only have maybe once a month or once every six weeks or so where I have like I did today where I just have a ton of laundry or if I just happen to have a lot going on, the laundry will pile up. But other than that, in the last year and a half to two years, I've been really good at keeping up with my laundry where I do like a load or two every single day and it keeps it from getting overwhelming. And I actually enjoy laundry sometimes. I'll put on a show and I used to hate it because I had like 10 loads to do every time, kind of like I do today. But I realized that was my problem with not laundry and not actually doing the laundry itself. So my most hated chore right now is probably the bathrooms. I just, I dread them. I don't know what it is. I hate cleaning toilets. And if I was ever rich, this is probably the thing I would hire a maid to come in and do is clean the bathrooms for me. Um, but beyond that, I actually enjoy washing dishes. I don't know, I find it therapeutic, which is good because I have tons of dishes in my house all the time. And there are days I don't wanna do dishes, but for the most part, it's the one thing that I always pretty much keep up with. Like when I wake up in the morning, it's the first chore that I do most days. And so I think that's another reason I like it. Even if I have a lot of dishes to do, I love just that feeling of accomplishment. And I feel like with dishes, there will be a huge pile. I like watching the pile go down and then being done. Now you think I'd feel the same way with laundry, but it's just not the same. I don't know what it is about dishes and laundry that's different. You have to tell me what you guys think. Okay, so what I haven't been sharing with you guys is that I've been running in and out of here doing laundry in the middle of cleaning the bathroom in my bedroom. To the end, I hope I'll be happy Like it was long ago We were head over heels in love Thought it lasts forever But somehow we got lost Looking back I didn't realize What was wrong with me I can't deny I took you for granted You finally had enough oh, oh. That's why I wrote you a letter Cause you see I write so 
Okay, so I just want to tidy up Lexa's room and I'm gonna get them to help me. Her closet, I'm gonna tidy in here as well, but there is a lot of organization that needs to be done. She has a ton of summer clothes that were gifted her that I had in buckets and they have dumped all the buckets out. So I'm not worrying about organizing that right now because I need to go through all her clothes and pull out things that don't fit her any longer. For now, we're just gonna do a quick tidy in here and then we'll move on to the next. you are enjoying it just wanted to introduce myself really quickly as you may have guessed my name is Christina I'm a wife of 14 years my husband Aaron a mom of two girls Lexa who's four and Kinsey who's two on this channel I just love to motivate and inspire other moms and honestly this channel is as much to inspire myself as it is you guys because the more that I make these videos the more on top of my house I get some days I'm struggling to get the motivation to clean and I'll just sit, tell myself I'm gonna record a video and then I push through and I get it done. Whereas I would probably have allowed myself to weasel out and not do that task that day. So thank you for being here and watching this video because making this video for you motivates me to do it. So I hope watching it is motivating you to do it. Yeah, yeah. this baby said that they don't got a future. Future like that, it hurts. So giving something worse to pass the time Don't you wanna have fun? I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Every 
Everyone always keep falling in love again What's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by Someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done I'm a drink at this page So I had a company on Amazon reach out and see if I'd like to try anything from their store and they had a whole list of home items. I just chose two things from their store that I was already planning on looking into taking care of. One is a mildew remover for the front of my washing machine and the second one is a drain clogger. So I'll have everything time stamped and if you wanna skip around the video so you can kind of get to the part that interests you. Okay, since my uh back and die on me. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this last load of laundry and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, stain remover on this. for the inside of the washing machine. And I'm super excited to try this out because I showed you guys in the past this and how nasty mine is with the front loader. The way that you use it is you just dry out the area that you wanna clean to get all the excess moisture and you apply the product to the area. You wait for three to five hours and then you wipe it with a damp cloth excited to try this because we're thinking about getting a new set pretty soon and gifting it to someone washer and dryer so these are about 10 years old we haven't had any problems with them but the front loader design with this issue is you know something that a lot of people have an issue with the mildew and mold in here okay so you guys what this looks like right now all right so i do have some staining right there um dry it one more time because it looks like it's still all right there's all the staining from the mildew so i'm going to go ahead and apply this all in this front area where we have the mildew issue and we'll be back in three to five hours it says don't let it touch your skin and so probably do this with rubber gloves and also don't let kids touch it so i'm going to close this door um, for the next three to five hours while this is working Okay, I was about to say a gel and then I squirted it out at myself. I'm gonna puncture a hole in that. It has a strong smell like bleach. So I probably should have used that rag to this up. I'm not gonna try to pronounce those words, but that's what's in it. So I'm gonna go make a slit in the top of the bottle. And you're supposed to put the other lid back on it to store it. All right, so I just put a bunch of gel in there. It doesn't say, um, you know, how much. And I'm kind of just um, letting it sit and see what happens. I actually am gonna put a little right here as well, since this is a spot that other people can see. All right, you guys, it's been five hours. So let's see what this did. Okay, it definitely lightened the stain on there. Sometimes I just don't know. I'll definitely say wear gloves with this because it says not to get on your skin, but I don't see how you don't get it on your skin, but then it says don't get it in your eyes. So I wasn't sure if it was meaning skin or eyes. I definitely see improvement in here. It didn't remove everything. But it is a lot better. Let me go rinse my hands off real quick and then I'm gonna give you guys a close up. Okay, so I would say if you have staining along here where people can see it right when you open your wash, I would think it would be worth it if you don't want people to see that when they open the wash and feel like it's gross. You may not care about staining in here. It isn't perfect, but it is a lot better. So it definitely did something. Now, it said on the instructions you could let it go longer. I didn't really put any up in here, so you can see that's still there. I just mainly focused it right here because this is the area that bothers me that I could see. And there's a huge improvement. Um, again, it didn't completely remove everything, 
but it definitely helped. All right, I'm just gonna do a quick tidy in here. It should have been you. All right, so there are muffins everywhere from breakfast this morning, and it is lunchtime, so I'm just going to clean up all of this muffin mess and then stop and feed them lunch and see if I have any more steam to get anything else done today. Are curious how my girls react whenever their dad comes home from work you can find out in three two one
second thing that I picked from this company that I wanted to try out was this um, drain snake. So this is the little bag that it came packaged in. First of all, I will say I'm disappointed that there are no instructions on how to use this. So I'm gonna check the Amazon listing and see if it has instructions on how to use it. Um, I'm assuming my husband knows how to do this, but I think that if you're purchasing something like this, there should be at least a simple instruction included. So I would definitely recommend for the company to include some kind of instructions because someone like myself who's never used anything like this, I mean, I'm guessing I could figure it out, but it would be a lot more simple if I just had instructions to follow along with. It comes out and it'll grab a clog. So this is good for something if it's way far down in there or like you lost like a ring or something like that or if you just have a really hard clog that won't come up. Now these are more for hair because they have the little notches and hooks every few inches and so it'll pull like hair and stuff out of your drain for you, whereas this one's smooth. It just has that piece on the end that we just showed you. So the kit comes with or five of these orange ones and then you just got this brush if you wanna use that as well. So for today, we're just gonna be trying out this on one of our sinks because we have two sinks that are actually clogged. So we're gonna be trying this on one sink, the metal one on another sink. It's not like super duper, but it goes real okay, slow. Yeah. It shouldn't be that slow. Yeah, it's just draining a little slower than it should. It's not terrible. So we're gonna try the orange plastic one on this first. So to get this little piece to come off inside the sink, you do have to remove this little piece out from underneath. And I'll try to remember to link a video below on how to do that. Yep, it's got hair in there. All right, so a lot of junk came out just by pulling that piece out. All right, so you just feed it down in there until you feel resistance. And then you wiggle it up on the way back up so it don't catch any hairs. Oh, oh yeah, wow. <laughs> okay, this works great. Like, <laughs> I'll give a warning. Yeah. That is disgusting. Yeah, I'm gonna do it a second time and just and see. Still do the metal thing just to check. Yeah. Ooh, it does smell bad. All right, going in for a second time just to kind of see. Looks like it got everything on the first try between removing that little piece. This is the one in the master now. Okay, so that's just a little bit slower than it should, kind of like the other one. It's not like completely clogged, but it just drains out slowly when you have a bunch of water in the sink. We're gonna try the metal one on this first, and then we're gonna try the orange one and just kind of see how much the metal one gets um, up if we do that first. Okay, so that one didn't have any hair attached to it. Again, I think this one's a little bit more for like if you have like an object down in there or something really hard that's something other than hair or just a real thick, compact, tight well, clog. Like it's a lot further than the last one, I think. Um, oh, okay, got a little bit. Okay, yeah, so it's a little something with that. Okay, yeah. All right, so we'll try it one more time with the metal one and then we'll go back in with the orange and just see if there's anything that it missed. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so disgusting. It's like a monster. Oh, that's disgusting. Wow, so that works really good. So, <laughs> you're amazed. You're so funny, huh? This one allowed him to go way further in the drain than our other sink did. So, he's going to go in for a third dry. Well, this is going so far in there, it's getting some stuff that's way backed up. Might have been it. Okay. We'll do the orange one just to see. We'll just try it, yeah. Oh my gosh. It stinks. It smells so bad, y'all. <laughs> Stagnant water is the worst. All right, so. You wanna help? I got a job for you. <laughs> oh, shit. Mm -hmm. oh. All right, I want you to take this. I think we got everything with the person. I want you to take this. <laughs> what is it? This is a drain monster. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Daddy? This was living in our drain. Look, I just pulled it out the drain. They had one in the other one, too. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, 
I know this dog is stinky too. Alright. I don't know if she wants to help with that. That was it. So that got it. Okay, so that was awesome. Wow. Right, can, you grab that? can you grab that for me, Alexa? <laughs> you, why not? I thought you wanted to help. I said pee. Well, Daddy did it. It looked like poo-poo. <laughs> it smells like it, too. Yeah. <laughs> Alexa, you know. Yeah, it is faster. But, I mean, clearly y'all saw what came out of it, so... Needless to say, the drain unclogger thingy works great. All right, so time to finish up the laundry. Met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him it. off my mind. Great I job. Mom, that great love, like standing I did it. Good job. Fire. Don't know how you got there, but you hold tight. Knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how we lost track of it. Okay, what's the next thing? That's Mom's camera. Huh? That's Mom's camera. Oh, okay. From each other, didn't want to let you go. Oh, oh, oh. Cause we wanted different things and I have to do it. I did it! Good job. Come on. Right. Cause you really seem to know. Yeah. Cause you really seem to know how to carry on on your own. Ever since I got a good look. In his eyes, I just knew that he was special. He said he wanted to take it slow, but I couldn't help that I wanted to take it to the next level. Cause I wanted that great love, like standing in the middle of a bonfire. You don't know how you got there, but you hold tight, knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other. I watching today's video I hope you found it motivating I cleaned for like three hours on this day and I was so exhausted when I was done and my house was a complete mess again the very next day so mom life thanks again for watching I'll catch y'all in the next one bye hey y'all welcome back to my channel I just got back from church I'm gonna change out of my church shoes and some slippers and get to cleaning. We just got back from the funeral we had to go home to Louisiana for and we of course was last minute. So uh, my house, I left in a total wreck. I was in the middle of doing laundry and all kind of things whenever we got the call that we needed to leave the next day. And so um, normally I would spend my one day notice cleaning up the house, but because I am in you know, full-time online school, I spent that one day notice trying to get uh, ahead on some schoolwork so that I wouldn't have to do as much while I was traveling and visiting with family. But this is just an overview of what everything looks like right now. We're gonna see how much I can get done today. I also need to start some more laundry and unpack all of our bags. I'm flying through the sky and I'm sitting a little high on you. I started this day with the dishes. Sometimes I try to change it up for videos, but real life here, I always start with my dishes because if I at least have the dirty dishes clean, then I feel like I have my life together a little bit more. Give me a comment down below and let me know if you're the same way or what chore you feel like you always have to have done in order to feel like you have something accomplished. So what is your go-to chore that you start with? I 
think that we need a guiding light Right now we're running around in circles But if you don't even wanna try I need to know it Can we just open up? Cause I got to know If you feel the things I do to introduce myself because I haven't done that in probably a couple of months worth of videos and just wanted to let you guys know that my name is Christina as you probably guessed from the channel name and I'm a mom to two toddler girls Lexa who's four and Kenzie who's two I'm also married to my high school sweetheart Aaron and we made 14 years of marriage back in May we actually moved to Michigan from Louisiana when I was pregnant with our first daughter for my husband Aaron's job and so we are making our life here now. I found YouTube to be a great place of community with other women and other moms and a great source of encouragement for me. And I also love having this channel as a hobby and it encourages me to get things done around my home when I don't want to. So I know a lot of people like to watch these cleaning motivation videos for cleaning motivation, but I make my videos for the same reason. So I hope you guys are enjoying this ultimate clean with me, extreme clean with me, whatever I named it, because I had a lot to do on this day and let's get back to claiming. You make it shine. But I can see that you don't realize. And that's what made me fall in love. I need to clean out this fridge. That is on my to-do list as well. <laughs> Add it to the list. just changed Kenzie's bed over, converted it from her baby bed to toddler bed. So I hear them get one in there. I'm gonna go check it out. I'm gonna show you guys how excited they are. What y'all doing in here? I need my baby and Chris and Chris You have a big girl bed? Oh 
All right, high five. All right, you excited to have a big girl bed? She's pretty much potty trained, so we figured we'll go ahead and switch her. We didn't switch Alexa until she was like three, but she had been potty trained for so long. To be able to just go. Okay, she's sleeping. Where are you going? She still cries when she wakes up in the morning, so we're hoping that this will help her to not be so upset when she wakes up in the morning. guys can see I moved on and was doing the laundry here now I did want to ask you guys what is your favorite shows or types of shows to watch while you're like doing laundry or do you watch shows do you listen to podcasts what do you do when you're doing laundry leave me a comment down below and let me know because I'm really curious about this because I had started this show called the unusual suspects on Hulu and actually I didn't realize at the time it's only like a four episode mini series it was so good you guys but it was not a good show to watch while I was doing laundry and up having to turn it off because there's like a lot of silent parts where you actually have to be paying attention to the screen you can't just listen to it so a lot of times I do watch YouTube or listen to podcasts or audiobooks while I'm doing laundry and household chores <laughs> Despair. 
Look out, here she comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing How I feel for her But she won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I'll have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's given me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know That I love her so well She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go She will never know, na na Never know, na na She will never know, na na Never know, na na She'll never know It's like she stole my heart Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only one Who got lost inside the blue of those eyes I've gotta let her go I know it won't be easy I wanna hold her close But I have to try Try as hard as I can I guess it just came out of the wash. It's mold or mildew, I guess I should say. I guess it just came out of the wash or dryer and it wasn't fully dried and it didn't realize it and it got thrown on the thing that in the suitcase is all I can think. But I don't know if I'm gonna be able to salvage that because I had that happen before and I don't think I could salvage the outfit. just put all the laundry that was ready to go in Kenzie's room over in the entryway because she had went down from a nap and so I didn't want to wake her up so I just stuck it there and I went ahead and moved on to the vacuuming and I had not um, charged my vacuum recently and it ended up dying right as I was done like cleaning the main spaces so the timing worked out perfectly
as you guys can see here, at this point I had moved on to the dining room, tidying the table, wiping it off, and then sweeping up the floors. If you guys are enjoying this cleaning motivation, please give this video a thumbs up. It really does help my channel out a lot, and I greatly appreciate it. If you've been around my channel for any length of time, it's probably super evident that I have a serious junk problem right here. This is our little catch-all spot and I have yet to find a good solution for this. I don't feel like I have space right here for a command center and if I put like a command center type situation anywhere else, I know that we're not going to use it because I've set up systems like three feet away over by the computers and we don't use it. Everything goes right here. This is where we have catch all for all papers. So I'd love to hear any solutions you guys have for how I could get this area under control. It's always covered in papers, especially now that Lex is in pre-K. They literally send her home with papers every single day and I try my best to take care of them right in the moment so I don't have them pile up. But regardless, they always end up piling up and I would just love to get a solution so that this area is not a constant like junk, junk zone, hot zone, whatever you want to call it. So I'm very excited to share this recipe with you guys. It's so simple and delicious if you use a cookie mix, especially like I did. So you're gonna have your peanut butter cookie mix and you just need what it tells you on the back. Um, if you get a different brand, they may have butter instead of oil, but that's what we have here. Three tablespoons of oil, one tablespoon of water, and one egg and the mix and you just mix it together and then you're gonna bake it in the oven at 350 degrees. And then what I did for mine is that I baked them um, about two minutes less than what this calls for. I think this says eight to 10 minutes and I baked mine for six minutes and then I pulled them out and put my marshmallows on top and then uh, put it back in broil and just watch it really close. It'll probably just need a minute or two if, uh, if not less and the marshmallows will start to expand. Then take that out and then put your little squares of chocolate on top and then your dessert is ready. This is so simple and delicious. I feel like it's a great fall recipe. Just makes you think of like a campfire and stuff like that. So I thought this was a really fun one for fall and my kids love this. I've made it a couple of times now because once I made it once, I just kept making it and we have really enjoyed it. Yeah, because now I see we were meant to be. So once I put the cookies in to bake, I went ahead and prepared everything else by cutting my marshmallows in half and then breaking my chocolate into little squares. I can try if you let me with our lives, I am pleasing. Who am I? And so once these came out, I then put 
the pieces of marshmallow on top of the cookie put those in for broil for a couple of minutes like I said just make sure that you're watching them closely when they look a little bit brown and toasty on top go ahead and pull them out place your squares of chocolate on top and they are all done I was bringing these to a church uh, bonfire and it was definitely a hit these were gone really quickly everybody loved them from the kids all the way up to the adults Yes, you been here before. You close the door. Now I don't know what to say. I expect you to leave. I deserve to be unheard, but I want you to see that you. As I mentioned earlier, we were going to a church bonfire on this night, so I was trying to hurry and finish up this last little bit of laundry, but as I was sorting through it, I kept coming across pieces that were damp until pretty much everything in the last couple of loads were still damp. I just had maybe two or three items that were actually dry, so ended up throwing everything back into the baskets to dry them, and I figured I would finish them on another day so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope you got a lot of cleaning motivation out of it give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribe if you're new here i'd love to have you come back for more videos in the future i do post videos every single week subscribe for more and i'll catch y'all in the next one bye no better time, no better time.